Blessings, my little brothers and sisters in faith. In today's gospel, we're going to hear Jesus tell us about how we should strive to enter into the kingdom. Let us start by invoking the Holy Spirit who lives in, in each and every one of us. Come Holy Spirit, open our hearts and minds to the word of God and to understand what Jesus wants to tell us through this gospel. We are going to be reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 13, verse 22 to, 20, uh, to 30. And if you're following along in your Sunday Missal, it's going to be on page 534. Jesus went through town and village after another, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, Will only a few be saved? Jesus said to them, Strive to enter through the narrow door, for many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able. When once the owner of a house has got up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, open to us then in reply he will say to you i do not know you or do not know where you come from then you will begin to say we ate and drank with you and you taught in our streets but the lord will say i do not know where you come from go away from me all you evildoers there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets of the kingdom of God and you yourselves thrown out, then people will come from the east and west, from north and south, and will eat in the kingdom of God. Indeed, some are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus is asked, will only a few be saved? Another way of asking this will be, will a few people, only a few people enter the kingdom or go to heaven? Notice Jesus' answer. Strive to enter through the narrow door, for many will try to enter and will not be able. Jesus tells us that many will try to enter the kingdom, but will not be able. Why do you think they aren't able? Well, he kind of tells us why not. Because they didn't strive to enter the narrow door. The definition of strive means to make great efforts to achieve or obtain something. Jesus is teaching us that we don't just get to heaven by being called a Catholic. We need to stand up to our tr to the truths that the Bible teaches us. But Jesus also tells them a parable about someone knocking at the Lord's door, but they are not able, they are turned away because though they claim to know the Lord, the Lord tells them that he does not know them or where they come from. Jesus is teaching them or teaching that just because you know of someone, it isn't the same thing as knowing them. In being in a relationship with them, where they know you just as well as you know them. For example, imagine your favorite celebrity. It could be an actor, a musician, or a character. You like them a lot and you follow them on social media. You know where they live, what their favorite things are, what uh, they are up to or where they're going to perform what their songs or movies are, but that doesn't mean that you know them. You just know the things about them. 
And if you happen to be in the same place as them, it's not like they would be able to call out to you and know you by name. The same thing could be said about God. We could know who he is because we've read about him or we've heard stories about him. But this is only head knowledge. It's not heart knowledge. But if we are striving to know God, we know him with our heart. And that's how we really know we have a relationship with him. To be able to say that you have a relationship with someone, you need to spend time with them, getting to know them, enjoying their company, and wanting to spend time together as much as you can. You wouldn't say that you have a relationship with your best friend if you only spend, if you don't spend any time with that friend. We need to strive to have real relationships with the Lord. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and our Heavenly Father, making time for God. And we do that by making the spending time with our Lord, and it could be through prayer, uh, but these prayers have to be said from our heart. Or spending time Simple moments throughout the day, being grateful for the many blessings, saying thank you to God for our family, our health, our friends, or just being amazed at God's creation. Look around, see how beautiful the world is. How many different flowers you see, the birds, the butterflies, and even how many different people were all different and were all created by God. And this is how we give thanks to God and get to be in a real relationship with him by communicating with him. So let us always remember to speak to God and communicate from the heart. God bless. And we will see you here next week at SMDY Kids Corner. Goodbye.